Guten Tag and welcome back everybody to Modded Minecraft 1.10 with yours truly, Dirk or Buster. So, well, this is what we did last time. And, um, well, the episode um, is not without reason <laughs> named what it is. So, yeah, this really looks kind of shitty. Um, I really mean it. I have the lack, I have the feeling of the lack of accomplishment when I do stuff like that. And to be quite frank, it really looks like crap. So, we have to redo this. Um, and I will redo this. I am really determined to do it. I took, well, almost, I took almost the day off because today is a really quiet day. I am self-employed anyway. And today is not the busiest day. So, I have time to do it. It is really quite early in the morning. Uh, it is even before I start my regular working days. And it is Monday, so this can only go well. Uh, I will tear this windmill down because I am really not uh, not comfortable with the way it turned out. And uh, I am determined to do better today. So, uh, I will start um, heading over to a creative world and try to get a feel of what I want what I want actually to do here and then I want to do it in this world. So um, I will now stop the recording, head over to the creative world and build away for a few hours and then we will see us again. All right guys, so I tore down the old building and let's be prepared <laughs> for the new one. <laughs> oh, well, um, I made a schematic with Schematica. And, and, well, <laughs> this is of course just a hologram. Uh, the original building would look <laughs> a little less hologrammy, uh, but this is what I came up with. My conclusion for today is, I really, really suck at building. <laughs> I am absolutely terrible at it, but this is the best I could get up with. And it took me uh, four hours, almost. Yeah, four hours is a good estimate. So, um, this is the actual building. You can see here um, the the down part of it, the, the basement of it, is uh, recessed slightly inwards using uh, chisel and bits thingies. And... Um, and I think I will go the opposite way for the top half of it. So it will almost look like the building is hanging uh, out of the floating rock. But I'm not sure if I can pull that off. Um, you can see here what it should look like uh, when I finish building it. Now I just need to place blocks more or less. Well, let's see, I have a few blocks in my inventory. I am curious if this works. Ah, it's not the right blocks. I used different bricks. What kind of bricks did I use? I don't know. Oh, I don't have it in the inventory. <laughs> okay, this could be... I had them. Where are they? Oh, did I place it already? Nah, that can't be true, can't it? Um, Can I... No, it didn't place it. Okay, I lost blocks. Um, let me grab the blocks and try to at least um, build it a little bit so you can see what it should actually look like. The very basics are done now. Um, I laid out the, the outer walls. This is now not longer a hologram, this is solid blocks. Um, I used brownstone for this and regular cobblestone made to bricks with chisel uh, for the upper part. And now, um, because I want to have this uh, slightly recessed, I do just uh, this here with connected paints um, to here, to here, and to from... Uh, did I do it on this side as well? Yeah, I think. To here, to here, and two more than here. One, two, three, four. 
three, four, and two more here. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you get a shape like this and do this on both sides. And you get something like this. Uh, and then you recess all those blocks in to here, four here, six here, and so on, and so on, and so on. And uh, these gaps here, um, you fill in with a block of your liking. I tried um, a factory block, but I actually don't like the factory block. Uh, I wanted to give it a more... Um, a more um, mechanical style, but I actually don't like it. So this is way better in my opinion. Although it was different on my creative world, I hadn't had this here. Hmm. Uh, let me double check. All right, I figured it out. Um, instead of connecting, if you do want something like this, instead of connecting um, or building connected planes on this side, you just need to build the planes. That way, um, it will show here, outside here. And now we can just, um, well, let's see, now we need connect it again. Uh, remove that whoop, and replace it with wood or any other material you like and get um, yeah, basically the idea of a beam that is um, sticking out of the wall. Yeah, here you go. So now it looks like a beam that is sticking out of the recessed wall, which I think um, gives it an absolute stunning look. I really like how this is looking. Uh, let me finish all the way around. All right, this is now the look all the way around. All these um, support beams um, sticking out of the wall, kind of. Of the recessed wall and I really like the look of it. It really gives it a smooth curve, a smooth um, angle inside and um, I think it looks really amazing. What I don't look, what I don't think it looks amazing is the top part. This is just a column of stone and I don't really like it. Um, I think I want to go the route I do with this here, I did with this here, but do it the other way around. So uh, if you see it from here, the the building would actually lean um, away from the rock to give it um, yeah a, a slightly angled view and um, a slightly uh, unnatural view, like if the building is not supposed to cling to the rock, uh, like it uh, would look like it would fall off. But of course it doesn't <laughs> because uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Um, but I think um, I did enough building for today. I want to give it a little bit of function at least. So we have a function in windmill after all. What I will do though is uh, finishing the floor and um, installing uh, the platforms around it so we can actually walk around it and then we will see what kind of function we can bring to the building. And I'm back. So I did do a few things off camera. I had to grow, grow weeds uh, up there on the farms, uh, up there, um, because uh, I needed them for some of the building materials. And I also prepared one of the travel anchors. Ah, come on. Yeah, one of the travel anchors. Nice. So um, what do we, uh, for right now, I will just call it windmill. Okay. So we can go up here where we eat. Oh, we can't actually. <laughs> Out of reach. <laughs> okay, I have to do something about that. Um, but I uh, built a few of the platforms, as I said I would. Boop, boop. And we can place them around here. Mm, no. Actually, actually not like that. Um like that this is the height i want them to go oh uh, can i change that i had the monkey um can i change it yeah i can oh now it's um all oh, right okay it works yeah, it's a little bit wonky and i'm pretty sure i have a door i do 
Nice. So place the door. Ooh! What happened there? I hope I just jumped. Was that always the door animation? It's so smooth. And now we have new sounds, but new animations? Or maybe it's old and I just don't know what I am talking about. So, uh, place down more of the platforms. This is again wrong. I have no idea how to place these things to get it right the first time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I have no clue. Um, so let me... Uh, comp Hello. Thank you. Let me go around with the platform at least a little bit. Um, so we have a place where we can actually stand. This looks odd. Hmm. This actually looks kind of wrong. I will figure it out. So let me um, surround it with the platforms and then we will see with uh, some functionality. So this is the basic idea surrounding um, the bottom layer here at the entrance level uh, with these platforms from the platforms mod. Um, it is a kind of a bummer because we don't we only have the oak wood platforms. It would be nicer if we had um, any uh, possible wood available, but unfortunately that is not the case. Uh, so we, for now we have to go with the oak wood. I hope the mod will be um, developed further and then maybe we can get um, all the other types of woods. But uh, this is the general gist of it. So this platform will be going around, connecting different buildings from this sky village, and um, it should go up and down as well. And because we have this dent here in the rock, uh, we will use this here as some sort of transportation elevator. And um, we do it, well, first of all, we need to reinstall uh, the... Well, let's get rid of this. Oh, we can't put a bag in a bag. That's right. Um, to do that, we need to reinstall the windmill first. Here we have them. Oh, we don't need the platforms right now. Uh, there are the axles. Nice. Good. So the windmill will go here. Uh, the axle has to go two out, otherwise uh, the windmill, the actual windmill, would be obstructed. Then we head inside and try to connect it here on this side. Um, oh, we have a little bit... Uh, we have not enough space. So I have to make some room. Oh, the other, the old axle was, was uh, higher even. Ha! Huh, didn't expect that. Good, so we have the... Axle now going this way. One, two, three. Uh, it is always only three. More is not possible. Then you have to go with another gearbox. One, two, and three. Nice. So, and now we have to think about how we want to do it. Uh, let's see. We are standing on Y231. Boy, we are really happy. I up high in the sky. 231. Uh, this level. Now dig in here. Uh, is this correct? No. Dig in here. Dig in here. Are we still at... No. We are one too high. Yeah, better. Good. Dig in through here. We should meet the axle on this side. Oh, we actually shouldn't, <laughs> because we are one too high. It doesn't matter. Okay, good. Now go over here. One, two, three again. Another gearbox. Ooh. No, come on. One, two, and three. So this is the level... Yeah, this is the actual level the elevator needs to be. So this must go. Good. Then um, the pulley. Where's the pulley? There's the pulley. Good. Put it in here. Put a bunch of rope in here. Um, and see. We need the actual shaft. Uh, well, for, no, for now, we don't need actually. 
and will serve quite well with this. Okay, now build the platform. I will do it like this. Oh, we don't have enough space here. Okay, make a little bit more room. And boink, boink, boink. Oops, that was wrong. Get rid of that one there. Here, here, here. Good. And the last one. And the anchor. And as soon as I place the anchor, you can actually see that this thing is um, attached via a rope, which is absolutely awesome. Now let me think. Um, I need levers. Do I have? No, I don't. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, I brought network receiver with me. For now, I will just place it, I don't know where, just here, just here, at the crafting grid above, link the network card. Is it linked? Yeah. This way we have storage access over here at the windmill, which is quite nice. Then we need levers. Oh, let me see. Do I remember how I did that? Um... I need and can power this. Oh yes, yes, it's working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. And now we have a working elevator and all with this sort of kinetic power. Pull it up again. We can uh, stop it um, in between by powering this here. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh no, now power it up and down. There we go. Hmm. It's the harvesting noise, which is a little bit weird. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, now we have a functioning, functioning elevator. Uh, we can even ride it. It is uh, quite smooth, actually. You can see. Awesome. And we can stop it if we use this. So we have to come up with some sort of wiring um, so we can actually connect these things together. And of course... Um, Make this a little bit more beautiful. Oh, I really hate the look. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure if I want to keep uh, keep it with a brown stone or with a cobblestone. I uh, I have yet to decide about that and uh, the other things as well. If I want to have to um, lean it outwards and if I do, how do I want to make that? But this will have to wait until another episode. Um, you can see here, of course, how the general base should work. Um, I want to connect a lot of different buildings. Um, a blacksmith needs to be here, of course. There needs to be um, a sawmill. We have the windmill, and the windmill um, produces energy to uh, to use the saw with. Uh, do I have the saw? No, I don't. Um, but we can have a sawmill where we have the saw. And I want actually um, items transporting via uh, maybe conveyor belts, maybe via um, via uh, minecarts. I want a hemp farm up here. So we have all the materials we need, basically. And um, as soon as we can... I want to progress to the uh, water mill as well. So we have multiple um, sources of energy. And the water mill will also go um, outside. I hope I can actually pull that off. I don't know um, if a water stream is enough. Then we will have um, just a falling water stream. And the windmill, water mill um, fueled by it. So this is the general plan. I will continue working on this. Let me know what you think about it. And we will see us then again in the next episode. Take care of yourself, guys, and rock on!